this trail is kicking my you know what today. start of day four. So we are heading just past Guitar Lake. It's going to be a long day. We did get up 5, 5.30 and uh, takes a couple hours to get ready. The tent is still wet, at least the fly and the ground cloth. So I need to air that out as soon as we can. Well, we do have a water crossing here at the beginning. So we just watched somebody go across. They slip so we're gonna go ahead and put our crocs on just in case this is the crossing and yeah those middle rocks are the ones that are I think got a little wet, just a little. I should have been able to get across with my boots, but better safe than sorry. So this tape that you see on my feet are really just precautionary at this point. I've had problems in the past at one time or another where there's just a uh, hot spot. So it's just a precaution. I gotta say, this trail is kicking my you-know-what today. It's gonna be a long day. As you can see, getting up in elevation. I am having a heck of a time today. Man, it's gonna be one of those days. A little bit of flat before next climb. Still climbing Gouye Pass. I'm thinking we're close. We're at the top of Gouye. This is not one of my better days. I am struggling today. We're gonna take a break. What'd you think of Gouye Pass, Terry? It was quite challenging. You were kicking it. I was feeling good when we first got started, and then I got started getting tired. But uh, oh. it wasn't as exciting as uh, crossing that creek this morning. I don't know what peaks those are. There's lots of rocks. Yeah. Well, at least we're going down for now. Yes. Unfortunately, that means we'll go up at some point. So pretty big mountains up there. the fence. Terry decided to go through. I think I'm going around. 
Probably not the best decision. We're near the PCT Whitney Creek area. What? Yeah, we're just gonna follow it around. Take our lunch break somewhere around here. Put my stuff out in the sun to dry. So this is Whitney Creek and we have to cross it. There's rocks up there. Harry's gonna go ahead and put her cocks on. I made it across. Uh -huh. Just finished our lunch. I dried out all our stuff up here. Forgot to take a video. Uh, my mind is not on videotaping. It's on going up these next hills. 1.2. Not looking forward to this last section. Terry doesn't like me to video of her coming across. That's the tough part right there. Ooh, ooh, Terry's getting so good. that has a whole bunch of camping places near the ranger station and it has a bear box. So, based on a suggestion from one of the ladies at the hostel, we're gonna leave some of our food here and only take what we need over the next couple of days. All right, this is somebody's idea of a joke. Much out in the open. <laughs> All right, we got it down to this bag for food, and we're planning on two dinners just in case we decide not to get back here the next day. <laughs> After summoning Whitney, and our bear canister over here is full. And Terry's putting all sorts of stuff in her empty bear canister. <laughs> One full bear canister and that bag. And we're leaving that here. Trying to save some weight. Now we come back to the ranger's station. Check what the weather's going to be like. And make sure there's water where we want to camp. Well, I'm pretty sure we got water. Okay. So I don't know if what we're doing is legal. But it was recommended to us. Yes, it was. And that's, I wonder how much weight we just offloaded for the next couple of days. A bear canister alone is too something pounds i think and then we got at least three more days of food Probably like two and a half yeah with and then plus all the stuff we haven't been eating oh i know we're not eating everything i gotta reevaluate when we go to our resupply that tuna is just not sounding very good or even the mashed potatoes how can mashed potatoes not be good i know yeah, I'll trade you my peanut butter. We're doing some trades. I'm gonna give her some tuna. She's gonna give me some of her peanut butter. We'll be darned, we have another crossing. 
I'm gonna see what this log's like. Dry foot. It's quite a bit of camping after you cross. Alright, 2.7 Guitar Lake, and we want to go a little past that. If you're a PCT hiker, that campground back there was the last place you could camp before trying to summit Whitney. You can't camp at Guitar Lake or anywhere beyond that. Even though my pack's lighter, it's still hard. That's our view behind us. Terry wants to know our mileage. We have 1.8 to Guitar Lake. There was a guy coming from the other direction, so there was already two tents at the spot we wanted. So we got to make a decision. It's a little confusing through here. You actually have to cross this little marshy area to get on the trail. Here we go. Yep, there's some more standing up. This is the Timberline Lake Outlet. You're not allowed to camp around here. Today has been a day for counting for me. When things get tough, I end up counting just to take my mind off of things. It also helps with the cadence, but my counting is like, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And I count to 30, and then I count to 20. And sometimes 30 and 20 gets me close to a quarter mile, usually. Maybe a little under, but it's at least a goal. When it gets tough, I start counting, and I'm telling you, I counted most of the day today. It's been a tough day. I gotta get up this. And it's late in the day. Found some more flowers. I haven't seen these before. Is Guitar Lake. I'm just gonna do a 360. This is crazy. We were gonna push on another half. Left mile, but a couple of people said that those campsites further down by the tarns are taken, so we'll find something down by the lake here and have to do half mile up and a half mile back extra tomorrow. View from my tent. Mm -hmm. Well, Terry, I think they know what kind of a day I had. How about you? Very, very tough. Tough day today. Anyway, we got set up. It's still a nice view. We're going to get up early, leave our stuff here, and then come back and decide if we're going to go back to Crabtree. It's about 6.40, almost hiker midnight. Tomorrow is the big day. This is what we've been 
trying to acclimate for the 14,500 foot Mount Whitney. So we're going to get up early, I'm trying to get up there around 10. And we have probably four and a half miles to go to get up four and a half back. And then we'll probably pack up and then go down to Crabtree Meadows. So we'll see. Oh yeah, it's a good thing I brought peanut butter because I couldn't have stomached anything else. I barely got that down. Hello out there. This is take two of how tired was I today. I was so tired that I inadvertently filled my hiking boot with water while trying to filter and clean and fill my um, bladder. So now I have one super wet boot to look forward to hiking in to Mount Whitney tomorrow. And then I was filling my air mattress and I realized after five times filling the bag and nothing was happening that the valve was out. So how's that for fun? I think she was a little tired. 